Hi everyone, it's me Rishali. Welcome to my channel and today we are going to talk about pretty privilege. So this topic has been uh, in the digital culture a lot since a while actually. Like in India, we haven't heard of this term as such. But when I see the Western TikTokers talk about it a lot and create TikToks about it, create reels about it, it becomes something that uh, we all can relate globally, it doesn't matter where you are coming from. So this is going to be the video where I talk about the same, uh, give my perspective on it, talk about whatever I have researched so far uh, my thoughts can go here and there because I'm very Gemini I want to talk about everything I want to cover everything but I'll try to keep it precise but I have lots of stuff to talk about about pretty privilege now as we are growing and as I'm a millennial like I'm on the border like I can be a Gen Z I can be a millennial so right I'm in the middle uh, and when I speak about the culture, which is digital culture, which I love to talk about these days, uh, is that it's changing, right? Uh, pretty privilege has been into existence since a while, like it has been decades. Now, when I talk about pretty privilege, the first example I can relate to from my childhood or from my experience as a woman without knowing that the term existed we just had that uh, pulse of hey everybody is judging people the way they look uh, so I want to give an example of my grandmother so when my grandfather went to see her for an arranged marriage um, she had a doubt as where well. she said uh, shares with me she had a doubt like she was very dusky woman uh, whether he would like to marry her or not because he was very fair toned blue eyes like totally European person <laughs> but we are Indian but you know those features were very European of him um, so she was very doubtful and why would anybody marry her like a, such a handsome person but he did so when it comes to pretty privilege, it is not certain that you will get chosen just because you look pretty. Uh, the second example I can relate to and I can hold on to is that even when you are beautiful, uh, the partner might choose someone over you who is not that pretty in the terms of society like they don't get considered pretty or beautiful or something like that and i want to talk about lady diana uh, so if you see her pictures and if you consider the opinion of the people in majority we will know that she was definitely pretty she got a pretty privilege as such um, from the perspective from the public and she loved she deserved love and stuff like that more attention traced from her family like her own husband but her own husband went and fell in love was already in love with a lady who is not that pretty and she is the uh, she is there now like we don't relate to her as such but we did with Dinah she was definitely the star a biggest influencer we can say of that era she's still there like her name is still there her legacy is still there but even though she got received love for her personality and for bring, being pretty from the public around the world as well as from Britain she didn't receive that affection from her own husband so even though you're pretty it doesn't mean that you will receive certain things you deserve or want or even desire you know but when it comes to pretty faces pretty privilege we gave it a power because we are talking about it 
we are using it the term because of course it exists we can't deny that uh, there has been a study uh, i found out here i've written here that while i was re- uh, reading if a person who is kind of uh, on the average of 1 to 10 is less pretty in the terms of society um and if the person who is prettier are you know are kept along like in the same room the baby the newborn baby will feel more attracted more drawn towards a person who looks more adorable pretty okay so there was a study by Slater Hayes Brown and Queen in 2000 that recognition of facial attractiveness is innate rather than learned of course right this was about the same study as i spoke about like the child is feeling drawn towards someone who is more attractive and not person who has a good personality who has good stories to tell and is very excited to meet a baby but the baby is not excited to meet a person just because on the quotient of attractiveness which is innate it just like uh, we are drawn towards pretty packaging right uh, if there are books and if there are products for example makeup palettes for example um not today i'm wearing this i have found new found interest in makeup these days um so when the palette is launched for example color pop or milk cosmetics indian brands such as k beauty or whatever you feel drawn towards palettes even though they carry same color you already oh why does it happen because the palettes are pretty you feel giving your credit cards to them you feel like getting all of those shades you feel like just doing lot of expenses why because the shorts which are clicked are so well clicked that they look so presentable so neat and clean that you go and purchase it because why because they look pretty and you feel like that will make you look and feel more pretty okay now talking about my experience as a person uh as you know i have specs uh i have my front teeth which are like a rabbit tooth okay if <laughs> you can see okay so now from a matter of perspective of being a skinny person um let's talk about body positivity here um uh, when you're talking about pretty privilege there comes a point where of intersectionality we will cover it later and there is lot of content out there about the same but when it comes to pretty privilege people judge from different perspective like how much weight you have how much weight you have gained or do you have specs or uh, do you have colored eyes or uh, why your teeth are not aligned and then why you don't cut your hair off uh, why you have to wear or have long hair certain perspectives are there which are bombarded on you i met a guy few years back uh he said that hey why are you wearing specs you know uh, now i have been wearing specs since a decade or so and these specs does it make me feel ugly no not not at all does it make me feel inferior mhm no not at all so why having a specs and not having a specs make a huge difference it does not not at all so i have many people say me this stuff like don't wear specs and you change your frame at least so i didn't uh, got into that narrative i just chose myself like the way i want to be like then talking about my eyes now my eyes are hazel green 
people, right? And many people feel that I wear lenses. But I don't. Okay, so when people say to me that I feel like also they suggest me to wear lenses. I'm like, no, I don't want to wear it. No, so people most of the time whoever comes with such kind of natural gifts maybe you have blue eyes maybe you have beautiful features maybe you have beautiful cheekbones these are nothing you have worked on you have not invested your hard-earned salary or income uh, into just lifting your cheeks or anything of that matter those gifts are given to you naturally many people are fond of investing huge sum of amount in just reaching to a certain ideal stage of some kind which advertisements media have been showing us for a while not a while actually since the beginning of media and papers newspapers all of those sort of things um but the narrative of beauty in this age has been changing of course now let's talk about being skinny as we are talking about body positivity because i feel it does come into pretty privilege i'll tell you my experience so i am a bit skinny um and when you are skinny when you don't have that precise weight a person should have at that age or something like that uh people ask you to eat up hey you are have a pretty face but you don't have a pretty body now this makes you look a bit not that but when we don't allow such things to affect us because it's because of the confidence but what if people don't have confidence to fight with such narrative nobody can do anything right um uh, and it affects some people people get bullied of it and stuff like that um uh, so talking about pretty privilege it exists yes it exists do i feel i have a pretty privilege do i have been told by lots of people do so far to just remove the specks so you will look more prettier to just fix your teeth and bring them closer and glad them in i don't do that i am like this and i don't know if i'll ever do that uh, i have no idea i have no idea will i ever do that but i have not shifted my narrative yet to that kind of stuff yet because i feel that this is what i owe and i feel like i'm prettier this way <laughs> um and yes there were some points when i was at the camp and um at a fest i was having a pretty privilege but i do have faced certain issues because of that um which was unwanted attention up to certain limit not that much but yes i did and it doesn't take you that far as such now i have a baby face as well so when i am showing myself up to someone um and i run my own business so if i'm talking with someone uh and i have to meet them physically i have to carry a certain attitude to and wear clothes so that i look a bit older uh, because i have a face which makes me look so younger so i want people to take me seriously when i'm talking about business but when i'm on call or doing online stuff it doesn't matter much because i can you know i can speak on phone or you know stuff like that uh but yes it does matter when you are uh, closing the deal or something like that you just have to be so assertive and stuff like that and why i'm uh, inserting the baby face while i'm talking about pretty privilege is that uh, such things also exist when you are talking about being pretty 
uh, being pretty just is not about face i feel like it's about your whole demeanor it's all about your whole body uh the way your boobs are <laughs> the way your waist is everything makes you what you are in this pretty privilege for prone area oh god right so i spoke about dina that's i feel it's the closest example to what i wanted to say that it doesn't actually matter if you're pretty or not it does not um i also have few um things to add on here which people are talking about halo effect which is that um when a person's appearances are a reflection of the character <laughs> now if i'm a baby if i have a baby face now let's take my example now uh, if i have a baby face people don't think that i am uh, in my 20s they think that i'm in my teens so what my character is right now it's much more grown up actually and the personality of mine is someone who is a business woman now she handles lots of stuff she is multitasking but my character is actually embossed up like it comes out when i'm more assertive right now when i'm so how i gather that is like dress up that way don't wear pencil jeans or you know stuff like that i try to achieve it and that's how i do that uh so is it making any sense to you guys but i'm just going to keep on talking here about the thing i want to add here um there was a study again made by mr john briggs the broadcaster and communications coach he said that sometimes called pulchromonics it is widely accepted that the more you resemble the beautiful people that we see in adverts tv or in magazines the more likely you will be rewarded financially or given a leg up society's ladder relatable right it does happen so it does oh i have experienced this in my when i was used to play sports in my college time uh, i did experience that up to certain level but ultimately those who have talent and have that caliber go up the ladder okay you will get the first push just because you look pretty cute sweet whatever but if you want to get up and about that you just need to have a a character who just goes up and gives the 100% right does it make any sense oh yeah also this is out of the topic actually but when i was reading on pretty privilege i also felt the need to think about our women hormones um if you are a woman or identify as a woman uh, you might have felt that when we are on the uh, fortnight of a period or something there is a glow or there is that energy oozing over again and again right there has been a research that if we or uh, we are on the birth control or stuff like that the men a partner might find us less attractive there was just a study done um and we might feel less prettier we might have mood swings you guys know how it the happen and stuff like that uh so that was also a study happening there and i feel that it does make some sense because when you're fertile yeah so that's the word when you are into your most fertile mode you will look more pretty so when a woman is aging she will she have a pretty privilege will she or will she not even she uses retinols anti aging creams and stuff like that oh yeah these stuff are giving rise to all the um beauty stuff like skin care stuff uh just you know get out with 
some amazing creams so they can save you from not being much pretty when you are about 40 or something like that really does it make any sense but when it comes to this i feel like it's all up to how we perceive other people it's all about the judgment we make about the person's attractiveness how we read the person now i know up to a certain point when i was in the college uh, i used to feel i used to eavesdrops you can say um uh, many men talking and reading women you might have also relate uh, relate to same that many men used to uh, rate women in the class in the corridor about from a scale of 1 to 10 so it's an innate in built thing everybody does like on a scale of 1 to 10 how cute you find me <laughs> on a scale of 1 to 10 that actor is standing at an 8 like you do that all the fucking time right so that is the thing but when you're pretty you attract unwanted attention but also the pros are like if you're cute and sweet as a matter how much mess you have made at a certain point you there are chances that it might get reduced but of course if you have murdered someone nobody gonna save you nobody also when it comes to being pretty uh certain scenarios might change for you when you are looking your for yourself a partner in the dating pool in the dating scenario oh god many men out there keep on asking you pictures you are going to send it or not like the way they want it not quirky not candid they want to see your assets so it is a game when you're pretty demanding of your prettiness goes up you do have pros of getting picked up asap like you are never going to be single in that way you're always going to be dating some dude or a girl whatever you are into um so basically you will be on the pool like all the time you will get anybody you want right so that is the pro of being pretty well no i'm from india but many people many agencies many shows streams have a parameter of being pretty to be pretty like you are up here like american now we are changing standards like people are getting uh, more asian people black people here and there into mainstream but there is that thing about european features right um uh, that is the benchmark everybody is trying to reach to everybody is trying to <laughs> go up the ladder and be like that beauty now if you see if you have been on social media for a while you have seen so much polished look on there right um even though it's like i just woke up oh my god you can't look so much pretty when you woke up but all the models all of those people look similar because they go undergo certain treatments like that which make them feel look be like that it does come just because you have some dance to increase your expenditure but it's not for everybody and nobody should do that ever right so there it is people try to polish their looks up now for example one day i feel like uh let's see what i feel like if i'm in my 50s and i want to do botox i'm going to look totally different if i want to pluck my lips up i'm going to do look different totally but now everybody is doing that and lots of people are not angering on the fact that they have done that so lots of things come just because you're pretty when you're looking good and when you're doing good people get attracted to you and that's the thing right
and what else i wanted to discuss did i spoke about fertility i spoke about that so there is that scenario where you can judge or feel more prettier when you're fertile there is that thing um so many people look into that as well so if you're interested in knowing more about that just google up and so on and also there is this part called the intersectionality you can read about it a lot right now i'm not going to discuss about it but it's all about the intersections in this whole umbrella of being privileged from all sort of perspectives so this is what i feel about pretty privilege i know i've been rambling a lot i hope it has made sense and i feel happy that i able to share some views of my on this privilege pretty privilege uh make sure you subscribe because i do random videos of this store and i would love if you subscribe like and it will mean so much to me thank you